Hey, what's up guys? Mr. Free Corner coming back to you again. I hope you guys are doing well and you've been holding on. Dealing with all the crap that's been going on in the market. Um, guys, I do want to remind you, obviously I'm not a an, an advisor or anything like that. So I'm just sharing my thoughts and opinions about all of these things, um, which are very interesting. Now, obviously a lot of things have been uh or rather have not been happening the way we would expect but there's just there are things happening in the background uh, from what i am able to find uh, regarding the economy you know everything is it, it's all tied uh, so i couldn't tell you when we're going to see some change uh, as far as uh the the crypto market being pumped up a bit However, I think we're getting some um, indications that it will be happening, uh, you know, at least relatively soon, right? Okay, so anyway, just to move on, I just have a couple things before I really get into what I want to talk about. So first, uh, you know, obviously the price of XRP and the whole market is really kind of, looks like it's kind of sloping uh, down. Uh, it just you already know you guys already know that this doesn't mean one thing this is just the pulse of the market it's it's just going to do what it's going to do until uh mega money comes into the market right uh and, and actually i'm going to kind of talk about that um one uh, bit of news that i came across earlier this morning that was basically sent to me uh it says ripple back moneygram announces new partnership with suez uh, canal bank and you know just another bank to put on the put in the books um, again more partnerships more um, adoption uh, there's there are things happening guys there are things happening and all we have to do is just be patient and watchful um, now one thing I did want to kind of uh, just remind you guys of all right I know uh, some of you probably don't need this, but, uh, you know, sometimes it just needs to be said. My main uh, suggestion for everybody is to just stop obsessing over the price of XRP. It is going to go up, all right, at some point. But before we get there, we're probably going to uh, see a lot of just crazy things like we're seeing, right? Live your lives. Enjoy your families. Your loved ones are the most important things in your lives. Your health, as I spoke about in my last video. Just doing new things. Doing things to expand your mind. Uh, just There's so much more uh, to life than just XRP. It's going to be here. And believe me, you're not going to miss the bull run. It, when it happens, you're, <laughs> you're not going to be left out. Just don't forget to live your life. I mean, it's been, for me, I've been dealing with this for three years. And, and to be honest with you, I have, I've obsessed over this whole market for the majority of that time. And I feel like I've lost a lot of that, you know, uh, um, as, as far as spending that time and being fully engaged with my wife, my family, you know, things like that. So, uh, just, you know, like I said, just a, a, a suggestion to you guys so you don't do the same thing or continue doing the same thing. All right. So the big thing on the, you know, that's being talked about now. And I know, you know, it's been talked about on and on and on. Uh, this is, you know, I'm definitely not at the leading edge of this. And for me, you know, I wanted to kind of step back for a minute and just just look and see how this kind of uh, rolls out, right? First of all, I wanted to make sure this was real. Uh, it was something uh, that was actually said and wasn't just some type of FUD or, or you know, some, um, you know, some trick or whatever. Okay, but it does look like Ripple is really considering or, you know, uh, an IPO. Okay, now as this article does say and i'm not going to go into this article i'm just giving my thoughts on this right does it spell doom for xrp prices now me and okay so in short no i don't think so 
Now, does Ripple really need to do an IPO? Well, you know, I've heard people say, no, they don't. I've even said they don't. But this is the thing. We don't, we don't know what it is they're trying to do. Okay. Now, another thing about this is a lot of people are just, uh, <laughs> they're, they're, um, conflating uh, an IPO with XRP being a security when these two don't have anything to do with each other. XRP is a cryptocurrency being used by Ripple. Okay, we know it's already been established. Ripple did not create XRP. It was gifted to them. So it cannot be an, a, a security. All right. There, I mean, there, oh man, there's, there's more, there's way more uh, arguments than I just want to go go through but look we've been dealing with this for the last at least for the last couple of years uh, on a on a you know pretty in-depth basis we all know those of us who are really into XRP we all know it's not a security okay but one thing I want to say is please ignore these people out there who are trying to uh, mix this up right ripples IPO is something dealing specifically with the company Ripple and their software. Okay, the, so the software uses XRP, but it could very well use another crypto. It's just that XRP is the best for that particular uh, uh, use case. Okay, now with, in saying that, it's like it's like saying. Uh, a, a store that's set up, right? They're selling a specific product that the money that they use, right? The U.S. dollars they use is a security. It, I mean, it, that's, that's the equivalent of it, right? Even if uh, somebody came in and they gave this company or these people for that, you know, that own the company, the money to set up business or set up shop and get going. It's like seeing that money right there, uh, those dollars, is a security it it just it makes no sense right they're just using it in their uh, uh software all right so that's established right now is it a bad thing or a good thing well in my opinion it's it's kind of it can be both right it's a good thing because number one ripple very well could be doing this because they don't want to sell any more xrp to fund the things that they have going on in the background, things that we don't know about yet, right? This, you know, because they've already made the promise that they will not sell any more XRP, OTC or anything, if, you know, any company that needs it, they have to go to the exchanges to get it. So they're, they're holding tight to that. And this IPO could be the reason why or, or I'm sorry, the way they get around having to sell any more XRP. You know, we think they don't need the money, but we don't know. You know, we have no clue what they're trying to do, like I said before. Now, the bad, uh, the way this could be bad for uh, Ripple is whenever a company goes, uh, you know, through this whole IPO process and they, you know, they're on the stock market, now they lose a considerable amount of control. All right. Uh, they have to appease the investors and, you know, all that stuff. So it it, it does. Um, there are quite a few negatives as far as that goes. However, it does give them the money to move forward with any other things that they they need to do without, in Ripple's case, having to sell XRP. OK, does that make it a security? Absolutely not. Now we're talking about uh, like I said, it's something, it's a commodity that Ripple holds. XRP is a commodity that Ripple, the company, holds. It's a, you know, it, but it could very well be any other crypto. <laughs> I mean, I mean, come on. So, uh, anyway, moving on. All right. Uh, one other thing that um, I do believe is that in this, as far as the court case goes, I believe there was purposely no deadline put on this situation right this you know from the courts because they know 
what is going to happen. They know the, the, the uh, verdict or the response they are going to have to give. Either uh, XRP is this hybrid type of uh, cryptocurrency or, you know, that's been spoken about, or it's a commodity. One of the two. And once that happens, it's going to mean that the price has to go up. But guys, there are a lot of other things that have to happen before a bull run can happen in the crypto market. There, you know, as far as the economy goes, uh, gold prices have to go. I mean, there's just a lot of stuff that has to happen first. It, crypto will be the last thing that really booms. Okay, in my opinion. Again, these are just my opinions. Okay, and I could very, I could be very, very wrong. But like I said, this is just according to the research I've done so far and just, you know, the people that I've spoken to. OK. OK. Uh, and, and also, you got to remember this. Ripple has over 300 partners. OK. Uh, financial institutions and banks. You have to understand if anybody that there are two types of people that are saying that XRP is a security. Idiots and people who know better. OK. And. I don't personally think that the big names out there of, of people who are saying this, I don't think they're idiots. If Especially if they've been in crypto. A lot of these uh, Bitcoin maxis, they know better. They just e are either being paid to do this, to, to say these things, or they are, uh, you know, they're just way stupider than I'm even understanding myself. So either way... Uh, you know, it's on, there are only those few people, those few retail folks out there who are completely oblivious to actually how crypto works um, and, and, you know, the, the whole setup with Ripple and its using usage of XRP. They're just ignorant to it and they are parroting things uh, from people that they essentially worship. OK, in my opinion. All right. Now, um, again. If Ripple is doing an IPO, there has to be a reason for it. I mean, I mean, come on. Look at what Ripple has done already. Okay. Have they? Yes, there were some predictions that Brad and and uh, possibly even David Schwartz have thrown out there and it didn't come true. But there is a reason for that even. Things have not been moving the way uh, they thought, and you got to understand too. The uh, I've mentioned this before. The oligarchy that is currently being ousted, they don't want to go anywhere. These people have been in power for decades. It was handed down to them. They do not want to relinquish power, so they are going to make it as difficult as possible. But they know the current uh, the economy that, as it sits right now, cannot continue to go on. All right. It, it has been going uh, this way for quite a long time. We are in we are at the point where every fiat gets to and it has to end. A new uh, economy has to be put in place and it's, it's working in that direction. It's just taking time. OK, They're, these people are fighting back, but they know just as well as anyone else. They have to go. It could also be that they are trying to position themselves you know, as favorably as possible in this new economy as well. So, again, there are too many variables we are not aware of for people to come out and spew the crap that they do. They don't know. No, none of this. None of these people know. And if they do know, they're not telling you. OK, just understand the the number one thing is we don't know what we don't know. Right. We can only speculate according to what we see, but believe me, it's it's like seeing the tip of an iceberg. The majority of all of this is behind closed doors. We don't we don't know what's actually happening. Okay, and and and, and think about it. We have we have this coronavirus that's uh, starting to ramp up. All of these are, are scapegoats, or I won't say scapegoats. These are all distractions from what's coming, guys. I'm telling you right now. If you look back in history, there there's always some type of distraction that's put out there right before something major happens. Okay? 
So, and that's what I feel like this is. And I'm not saying that there isn't a real coronavirus or anything like that. That's not my point. The fact is, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of ramping up to be something really big in the news. And, uh, you know, uh, like I said, it's going to uh, provide some type of cover for what's about to happen. And I'm going to tell you, what we're headed for is not nice. We're going through, we're going to go through some rough times here very soon. But all I can tell you guys is just be strong. Do not sell your crypto. I mean, just again, just my, uh, you know, my thoughts and opinions here. But I'm not going to sell anything. Uh, in fact, like I said, I've stepped away and I really try not to even think about it. Uh, that's part of the reason why I have not really made any videos because it requires kind of, you know, some looking through this and, and I have not really wanted to think about it, honestly. Okay, so um, I think that's all I had for you guys. Um, yeah, that's that's really it. Now, again, guys, um, if you're getting kind of uh, more wrapped up in this than you really feel like you should or, or it's just mattering way too much, do what I did. Take a step back. Concentrate on your lives, your families, and things like that. This space is not going anywhere. It's going to be here. And again, you're not going to miss the bull run. Now, if you're good with all of this and it's not too much to deal with, you know, make sure you stay, you just stay up on what's happening and, and think objectively about all of this. Uh, look at both sides. I think a lot of times what we're dealing with, it's usually just somewhere in the middle. And uh, we, we just have to use our rational mind as it relates to all of this, because, uh, you know, the world's not going to explode into a million pieces because of this. It's just not. Uh, so stay, you know, stay on top of it. Stay rational and calm, guys. And just, like I said, enjoy your lives. This is going to happen no matter if you're um, focusing on it or not. And again, understand this <laughs> this very important thing you're not promised tomorrow so live your life today okay all right guys thank you for joining me i really hope this has been at least somewhat helpful um i really appreciate all of you guys i'm i'm currently at uh just a little over six thousand subscribers i'm really surprised it has stayed there I would really love to get to 10,000. So guys, if you have not already subscribed, please do so. Hit that like button and the post notification button so you know when I post it again. Until next time, this has been Mr. Free Coiner. Take care of yourselves and God bless.